Hello, Mrinal. You there? Hello. Yeah, Mina. Shall we start? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. So, good afternoon to all the participants. I welcome you all once again for the second session for today. We are once again privileged to have amongst us Minal from TRTC Guwahati. Without further delay, so I request Minal to start off the session. Minal, please. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. So. Uh... now since since this is the last session uh, of the seminar so in this session i have already uh, covered the interface of the software okay i have already covered uh, how the tools are but i have to admit that those tools that i have shown you was only uh, 60 to 70% of the tools and remaining tools are also there due to the lack of time i wouldn't able to show you all those tools but it's a very uh, capable software okay now uh, what i planned is just i want to take you through the total manufacturing process okay starting from designing something from a sketch okay design that thing draft that part okay and after the simulation and we go for the machining operation okay so to show you that i'm taking help with this of the software called solidworks okay i'm not giving you idea about the software because uh, from tomorrow i guess uh, you have the classes on solidworks so there it will be shown to you the things that i will show you now in details uh, the sir will show you but the thing is uh, i just want to take it to that software because up to how far we have covered in autocad i think it is very suitable for you to uh, know the solid works part okay if i can somehow relate because after the solid works has completed i won't get the chance to show you that thing in autocad again so i need to go to solid works then we'll come back to autocad again okay our main agenda will be autocad don't worry okay so i'll just share my screen Uh, is it visible uh, yes visible okay okay thank you okay so here so in this software um, i have covered this 2d modeling okay now how to measure this this tool this ribbon this is called ribbon so this ribbon has been completed and uh, when we move to 3d you can go for the settings uh, symbol and we'll move to this 3d modeling environment there we have this 3d modeling uh, tools okay we have the draw tools you can draw it uh, if i show you again uh, whatever the whatever is your drawing okay you can simply draw it but if you are making with line you have to make a region before making it you know solid model okay but if you are making it with poly lines then it will be fine okay i showed you how to uh, cut some region let's say i will extrude this part you can go for the press pull you can set the view to southeast go for press pull when the all region will be highlighted all the lines will be highlighted you can click and you can drag it this is 2d wireframe view you can simply go for the realistic view now see this is a surface why it is making a surface body because uh, while i'm doing that thing uh, some part of the sketch get opened okay it was not fully joined that is why it is making a surface body i'll check what is what are the problems are just control z will undo my thing i think while joining this line here i missed it to join no okay Try to 
go for join. Okay, this one join, and I can make all join. Okay, I think here. Oh, it's okay. Go for extrude or press pull. Oh, I think it is still giving me the okay. Okay. So in this case, you need to make the region. Go for region. Select it. Hit enter. Okay. Now go for press pull. Now see the realistic view. Now it's a three D model. Okay. Now if you want to cut some portion of this 3d model you can simply go for this coordinate select the face and drop your coordinate on the face where you want to draw your sketch you can click on the stop so that this plane becomes normal to your sight and draw let's say i will draw some circles the last command can be uh, used if i just right click again and repeat circle see Circle is the command that I have uh, used uh, recently. So it will be there. If you right click, you'll have the command. Okay, I'll turn off the grid. Now this thing I need to uh, make two holes here. So I'll go for press pull, select the region, drag it out, say it is cutting. If I made the region, Okay, if I made the region and pull it out, next time when you use the place tool, you don't have to go for the subtract option. It will automatically delete that. Okay, just pull your mouse uh, in the reverse direction. I mean, if you if I pull it in this way, it will create the solid product. If I pull it inside of the solid, it will create me a hollow product. Press pull. So since uh, those two solids are from the single sketch, that is why it is making a solid part here. So I need to subtract it, go for subtract. This is the solid, this 3D model, subtract this one. Okay, I need to select first, subtract, select the solid model, enter, select this model, hit enter. the hollow portion okay so this is how you can model 3d designs i just want to take you to solidworks and there i will show you how uh, solidworks help us and we'll again come back to autocad but before doing that i just want to show you one layer it's a civil in a civil point of view it's uh, important but this kind of you see these are the layering Okay. Uh, one has created these layers, so you can simply hide those layers to see. If you want to hide all the windows, I can delete the. I can hide this window layer. It will be out. Okay. So I told you the use of this layer, and these things are from hatching. These things, these are from hatching need to go for this drafting and annotation environment here you'll find this hatch option so from this hatch option you can click on the closed region to provide the hatching you can add the colors as well so all you need to do is just to click on a closed region it should be a closed region I can increase this number. Let's say I'll go for 100. No, okay. The dimensions are too big. So this is this way. I can uh, change the gap between each lines. Okay. If you want to go for a solid color, you can. Okay. Solid. And you can change the colors. So this is how AutoCAD helps us in uh, this kind of drafting. Okay, all the dimensions are given, shown here. And these dimensions, you can see, you are using, let's say, uh, you are doing this thing 
in multiple times okay you need this door again and again so you can make it a block just select the lines i mean select the all the property all the uh, objects that you need for your door and make a block okay. that point of time you can use it and this is the uh, layout okay top view this kind of things you can easily do it in autocad okay now i will move to solidworks okay so this is the solidworks environment uh, i think uh, many of you are familiar with this software okay it's a very user friendly software all the commands here are very easy to use okay this is an parametric software okay what i mean by parametric i told you it holds a record Yeah, yeah, Hemant. Do you have any questions? No, sir. Okay. Okay. So uh, here you can see they have given us three planes. Okay. So I can choose one plane. I will not go into the depth of the software. Just want to show you the. Uh, process the line tool. Let's say I have drawn this. Here, if I put dimensions, if I change this dimension, then the line will get modified. Okay, unlike AutoCAD, AutoCAD if it, if I change this dimension, the dimension uh, this figure will not get modified, but here it will. Here it will get modified. I will not go for uh, very details of the software. Why these lines are get black colored? Why this are blue? I just want to use the pool command. I mean, call extrude here. And extrude this part. Go for instant 3D. It's okay. I can re edit the sketch as you can see. The sketch is here. If I go for editing the software, uh, editing the sketch, if I increase the dimension, let's say I'll make it 350, exit, it will be get updated. Okay, okay. Let's say I have made this uh, thing. It's kind of a let's say support. Okay, this portion has been fixed to some uh, walls or anything. Uh, you can apply the nuts also, and this plate will support something. Okay, support something. Uh, I will take you in a uh, CAE point of view. Okay, let's say I will place something uh, over here. Okay, I know the weight of the component. So in CA calculations, I mean in CA simulations, you don't need to draw that object. Let's say you have a motor over here. Okay, this face will be fixed to the wall, right? And at this plate, you have a motor. You know the weight of the motor. So you don't need to model the motor. The only thing you need to do is just to have a print the position where the motor is let's say this at this circle inside of this circle will place our motor so i need to split this okay i'm splitting this now this is a different phase this is a different phase so here i can apply the total load instead of placing the motor itself okay so i have designed let's say i will use the fillet and all now I need to know what is the stress concentration at this edge, okay? Since as is, as you can see, this portion is a uh, very sharp. It, this this portion has a very sharp edge. 
so there will be some stress concentration will generate it so to reduce the stress concentration we can use a fillet here okay so we can set a different configuration this thing will be taught by my colleague so we can apply some fillet here now i want to see in this situation what will be the scenario right so after designing this thing when we will move to autocad that thing i want to show you so I'll, we did this now will this part work as i showed you in the first ppt will it work i have an idea will it work we need to simulate this thing okay does uh, solidworks have that simulation uh, environment yes it does have okay like ansys it also have some simulation environment but you cannot rely on this results because the meshing uh, quality the meshing quality is not as good as uh, that of ansys okay so we'll go for the simulation we'll go for a new study we'll go for static this is simply said static analysis you can go for frequency analysis also topology study if i tell you about something about topology study what is this uh, have you seen the trusses do you know what is truss t r u s s have you seen truss sir truss like connection of various type of beams making bridges yes 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 the uh, saraighat bridge okay those so those things are called truss okay so it supports for uh, bending i mean you cannot bend that thing if you have trusses well placed i mean well calculated trusses there so it will help you to reduce the bending loads so those things are topology study i mean how somebody have uh, introduced those trusses instead of truss uh, i think all of you have seen the saraighat bridge okay the truss uh, pattern over the bridge so instead of let us con consider that instead of using those beams we have used a plate okay complete plate so you cannot see like it, it it works like a tunnel okay so you cannot see your lights cannot be passed through okay complete plate instead of those uh, beams i have placed complete uh, plates now what does this topology study uh, allows us uh, it will identify that which portion is not working i mean where on this plate there is no load okay so that portion can be removed okay that portion can be if that portion is not taking uh, it, it is not participating on the strength of that material i mean component then why we need that we can remove it so it will reduce the weight of the total bridge so that thing is called topology study i mean it will you need to uh, provide the inputs like i want the minimum weight okay those conditions you need to provide it by yourself then it will analyze and it will show you one possible way which will reduce the weight and without affecting the strength okay that is topology study design study same you what are the you know interchangeability of the component it will show you in design study thermal analysis you know the heat transfer okay. not thermodynamics only the heat transfer okay thermodynamics is not covered here not covered mean all the portion of the thermodynamics is not covered because thermodynamics means everything right can includes fluid gases everything only the thermal thermal means only the heat transfer module buckling you know what is buckling fatting it's a repeating load like a crank shaft it is under a fatting uh, behavior right it's reverse stresses so this will come under fatting non linear analysis this is a very uh, advanced level of uh, analysis in ca softwares fea models non linear means hyper elasticity what is hyper elasticity uh, let me consider a rubber okay it's beyond the hooke's law the stress strain relationship it comes beyond that hooke's law i mean after re reaching out the hooke's law there's all non linearity right Up until this hooke's law hooke's law satisfied where stress is proportional to strain we have the modulus right and then at that point of time when plastic deformation arises that is the point uh, of gilding okay that is the point of 
uh, failing criteria, right? If if the yield stress is more, uh, I mean, your applied stress is more than your yield strength, your component got failed. So that is a non-linearity when the material behaves as a rubber. Okay, it's like non-linearity. I mean, if I give you an example, have you seen the O-rings? O-rings for the ceiling purposes, we have used the O-rings. Okay, those O-rings. If I tighten a nut, okay, let's say I have tight a nut and I have used the washer. Okay, so if I tight the nut, I what is the expectation? I want that nut should compress the washer so that it got sealed. Okay, so that behavior of the washer, if you want to simulate, that will come under non-linear. Okay, and drop test and pressure vessel design. So these are the modules that uh, SolidWorks is providing. Okay, in its educational edition. Okay, this is an educational edition. The license that we have purchased. This is an educational edition. But in a premier edition, they will provide some of the more uh, studies. So I'll go for static and hit OK. Now it will ask me where which side is fixed. So go for fixed advisor, fixed geometry. I will select this phase for fixing. Done. Need some loading, external loads. You can apply force, torque, pressure, gravity, centrifugal force, bearing load, everything. I'll go for force on this region. So you know the weight of the motor. So you can calculate the, how much force is uh, applied to this region. So I'm considering, let's say, 100 Newton. It's very less, 1,000 Newton. OK? The direction you can see and the orientation of this arrows. Done? OK. Mesh, this is the core part. OK, finite element analysis is all about this mesh. Create mesh, if I click on Create Mesh, you can choose more the finer will be your mesh, more the accurate will be your result. Hit OK. See, it is creating a tetrahedral mesh. OK, you can see the triangles. OK, so calculation will happen on the nodes. Nodes means the joining of those uh, elements. These are called elements. Now I can run the calculation. Go for the calculation. OK, so it's, it's, see the message. Material is not defined. You need to define the material. So I have to go there, uh, this right click, apply material. Oh, wait. So you need to apply the material. This is the material library. A lot of materials are included in this library. If you want your own material to create, you can create your own material if you have the properties. Uh, I just want you to take you through this property uh, tab. See the red colored things are here. One uh, black colored and one is your blue colored. OK, so the red color properties are most essential property. Without that property, you cannot make your material like elastic modulus, Young's modulus, Poisson's ratio, density of the material, yield strength. Blue things are okay. If you don't satisfy, if you don't give the value of this blue uh, properties, then it will okay. And blacks are the calculated. Okay, so it's okay. I'll just choose alloy steel, hit apply. So the alloy steel get applied here. Now I can run the calculation. And it will solve the model. And it will show me where is the maximum stress has generated. Okay, now how will I? see that this component will survive or fail. This software will not show you by breaking the component. OK. Only in ANSYS, only the explicit dynamics will show you breakage. But except that, nothing will show you breakage. Okay, You need to find it yourself. You can see this von Mises stress. This is the maximum distortion energy theory. OK. You can see the total uh, highest stress, this value. You know the yield strength. So you can find out the factor of safety. If the factor of safety is below 1, you are in danger. If your factor of safety is above 1, then you are good to go. Okay, You can work with this profile. 
Okay. I can find out the factor of safety here also. Define factor of safety plot. Factor of safety distribution. You can see here. The red color region is 0 0.3. Can see this uh oh no it's good enough right i mean it's 3.18 e to the power 10 i mean e to the power means 10 to the power 2 so it's good enough it's more than one so nothing is in danger you can go with this material i mean you can go with this design for that much of loading right though you cannot uh, blindly rely on these results okay uh, I am repeatedly saying this to you. You cannot blindly uh, rely on these results because you need to uh, you need to use your skills also. Okay. By the way, uh, this is the stress concentration here. Here, the red region is suffering from uh, with maximum stresses. Okay, though it is safe. Okay, with this amount of load. If I increase the amount of load, this factor of safety starts decreasing. Okay, now once I have uh, finalized that this will work, I can give it give this thing for uh, to my production team. Okay. So I can go back to features. I'm done with this simulation. Go for the model. So this model. I have finalized that it, it will survive. Okay. Now, what do I need to give to the production team? Do I need to give this file? Do I need to give the simulation file? What what file I need to give to the uh, production team? The production team only needs the dimensions. They need nothing else. If I go for uh, if this is a part of uh, milling, if I let's say this is not a very complicated part to make it in milling, but still. Let's say we have some more complex raw material here. I need to provide this um, go for a milling machine to make this part. I can generate the CAM code. SolidWorks also have this CAM. You can see the SolidWorks CAM. Okay, it will generate me the codes, whether it will work on CNC milling or CNC lath. Okay. So I will just show you for CNC lath quickly so that you could have a better idea. Let's say I have a step turning like this. Step turning like this and I'll go for feature revolve around this axis. Okay. Let's say I have a step turning. Okay. Now to make this component, you can, this is a simple component. You can manually find out the CNC codes of this. If you know how to find CNC codes, you can simply find it out. But the thing is, with this software, you can how you can do it. Okay, if it is a very complicated part, how will you do it? So we'll go for SolidWorks CAM. First, we need to define the machine. Okay, so we we will define the machine as a turning machine. Milling machines are also there. I can set out the tools. Okay, what is, what will be the since it will be done in single point cutting tool. No? So what will be the rack angle, relief angle, everything you can define. I will not, I will not go to that depth. Okay, let's say check the coordinate. Stock manager will give you the raw material. Okay, raw material as a stock manager. So since this is a turning operation, uh, we'll go for a cylindrical object. Just let me define the machine. Select. Okay, stock management. Now it's a cylindrical raw material. So you can define what are the operations. Oh, wait. Okay, chuck will be connected on the other side. So I'm uh, keeping some materials behind this body. Okay, step, turn set up. Okay, extract the machinable feature. So it will detect by itself what are the features here. So it has fine C. It will first do a facing, then it will go for the outer diameter roughing operation, and it will cut off. So these are the three operations that it has detected, and I'm satisfied with them. Okay, it can, it will first uh, do a facing operation, 
then it will cut the profile and then it will cut off I mean, it will cut the stock cut the product from the stock okay generate operation plan so it will generating operation plan it will go for a face roughing first it will provide a face finishing turn roughing it will cut the profile and turn finishing it will provide a finishing operation you can edit the operations okay you can edit the operations what what tool you need you can see the single point cutting tool what tool you need what will be the rack angle okay relief angle everything you can provide and it will, finally it will cut off this part. you can see this is a three draw chuck okay you generate the tool path so this is the home position of the tool it will come here it will provide a finishing operation has skipped uh, some steps now if i go for the simulate the profile i'll reduce the speed okay okay so these are the operations reduce the speed again see this is the last finishing operation and it has like in the part since i have not uh, having any stock beyond this uh, plate so it is not performing the facing operation and that's okay so this is all done okay you're happy with the processes hit okay now save the cl file go for uh okay i will save it in let's say downloads okay go for post processing tap file downloads part 3 save it hit okay it'll generate okay okay wait, wait, wait. post processing part 3 need to play it hit okay now i'll go for the environment let's say downloads part 3 you can see these are the cnc codes okay but depending upon the cnc machine depending upon the solver Okay, depending upon the controller okay of the cnc machine you need to do some modifications okay like in safety line you need to provide some modifications the coolant turn on and off commands are not given here you can add it you need to do your uh, you need to have an idea it's not like you just made this thing and go to the machine paste it and run it it's not like that you need to use your skills but the coding you need, it, the thing that it has reduced is that you don't need to find out the coordinates. Okay, it has generated the codes, but miscellaneous things you need to modify. So that is the cam part. Getting it? So do you have any queries, any questions regarding this? I give you just an idea. It's a simplest one, zero percent of the capability of the software. Yeah, Mridan. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, so uh, these codes that are being generated, mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, Fanuc or Siemens based, or it is uh, irrespective of that. Yeah, yeah. That, that you need to select while choosing the machine. So in the defining the machine, uh, you can see the post-processing things post processor you can see this here you can you have to select the controller over here turn fanuc uh, t2 axis so you, these are the uh, controllers that has given okay, okay, okay. siemens controllers are also here so you have to check it from here okay, okay. so according to this according to the post processing unit that you have selected here according to that your codes will get generated okay Thank you. Okay. So, so, any more questions from the participants? Is it interesting or not? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, this is turning operation, but the milling operations are much more interesting. Okay. You can select. See, the software is so much capable. If you have done the finishing operation, some portion you can uh, left out. Like uh, I have, uh, you know, kept some portion for the fini uh, finishing operation. Roughing is done. 
okay so roughing has reduced the maximum material but some portion left out for the finishing operation so you don't need to worry about that software will detect automatically how much portion got left okay so it will think uh, it will take it by itself and remove that portion with the finishing process So it will show you with the simulation. Everything is done. Now you can provide the production unit, the CNC codes. They will modify according to the solver, according to the controller. They will modify it. And now, but along with this, if I go for modeling, if I go for modeling, now everything is done. I have checked the so I have done the simulation, it has survived. So for to manufacture this thing, I need CNC codes. I have generated the CNC codes. Now what? Now you need to provide the drafting of it. So go for files. SolidWorks also contain, uh, have this drafting portion. Make drawing from part. You need to save the part before you proceed to the drafting. You can select the size, paper size, let's say A4. This is ANSI standards, but uh, if you go for ISO standards, they can also give you ISO standards. BSI, okay. These are the ISO standards. So this is A4 mm -hmm. ISO. This is the paper size, okay? Hit okay. You have the paper, you have the left view. This is the front view. Okay. Drag it here. This is the top view. <laughs> this is the side view. And an isometric view, I need this diametric view. Okay. You can use the scales. Okay. So, okay, you can do the same thing to okay. okay. I set this thing here. If I have given the dimensions of the parts, you can easily convert those dimensions here. You don't need to provide the dimensions here because. In the modeling, if you have provided the dimensions, I mean the dimension of the circle, you can simply go for uh, this model items and entire model. When hit, no dimensions are inserted. Okay. While making the model, you haven't insert. I haven't inserted any dimensions. That is why it is not able to detect any dimensions. But that's okay. You can go for smart dimensions, and you can still dimension these parts. Okay, all the dimensions can be done here. Okay. Okay, so this way you can provide the dimension. This is the isometric part. If you need this in solid, you can have. Okay. Now you can see this is the template I was talking about. This is the template. Okay, every company, every production unit have their own template of describing different things, I mean, different uh, columns, okay, according to their need. So drawn by, checked by, approved by, okay, these things you can, materials, okay. So, so I will show you how you, the directly material, the material that I have inserted for this part in that modeling environment will be automatically shown in here. This is the name of the part. So the question is, can I edit this? Yes, right click here, edit the sheet format. You can edit the name of the part. Okay. And double click here. Turning. Turning part. Okay. You don't need so much call, uh, boxes here. You can go for drawing, sketch, trim. You need this, trim it. You need this, trim it. Okay, do all the modifications that you want and exit. 
okay place it like this okay now here also you can save your own uh, template okay here also you can save your own template but whenever you saved your own template now see let's say this thing i have get from the model okay i haven't drawn anything here simply i have created the model so i can have the top view front view side view from the model itself now let's say i want to make any changes here let's say i want to add some fillet at this point okay now it's not possible here you can go for fillet you can select this see it is not allowing me to select this okay why because this these things are been derived from a model okay so modifications here is not possible you can draw it like i can use the draw tool and draw lines and i can go for fillet here you can use the fillet here but it will give me the dimensions also but the problem with this is that you will have this this corner will not get deleted okay so this is the problem with this drafting got it the prob got the problem but for the drafting see in autocad you need to draw this but here you don't need to you have created the model you can simply have the front view top view right view done okay but for editing point of view i need to save this part save as yes this is your solid works drawing part dot uh, drw this is the autocad part dot dwg okay we'll go for documents okay part 3 i will save it Okay. Now I'll come back to AutoCAD. I'll go for open desktop document part three. Continue opening the document. See, this part has opened in AutoCAD. Dimensions are also there. Now do the modifications what you want. I need a fillet here. These are the lines. So can I trim it? T or double enter line. This line, this line, this line. See, you can easily do the modifications. Done. Okay. Any modifications to this line? Yes, possible. Okay. Anything can be done here. Uh, need to. You don't need this circle. Delete it. Control Z will undo. You need fillet here also. Go for fillet. Set the radius of ten. Enter this line to this line. Done. Okay. So this is why AutoCAD is important. All the modifications. It's not possible for you to design. Let's say you need to add up fillet here. Okay. And somebody has uh, given an idea. Okay, add a five mm fillet here. It will work. Okay, so you cannot open the software of SolidWorks again. Uh, modify that thing again. Go for drafting again. Put some dimensions. It's not possible. Right? It's a very lengthy process. No one will choose that. So you can directly come uh, come to this environment of AutoCAD. You can simply modify this thing. You can put the dimensions also. And go for Radius. So I'll put this. Done. Then, if you have the own te template, you can uh, delete these templates. Uh, what I will do, I will just uh, select this geometries, go for move. I'll take it out. Okay. I can delete this. If I don't need this template, I can delete this. Now I will insert my template, and uh, I will make a PDF out of it. I will show you how to make a PDF out of it. Getting it?
Got it right? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So drafting can also be done in SolidWorks, but the part why we are taking that drafting in AutoCAD is that for small, small modifications, which is not possible in Auto, uh, SolidWorks. So this is a non-parametric software. You do whatever you want. These are the simple lines. Okay. So now I will show you how we can uh, make this uh, page okay and print it out in uh, like we we can save this page as a pdf so once i save this page as a pdf i can simply print it out it's not a very big deal so what i'll do i'll go for plot go for plot not try batch plot. Okay. So here you can go for this DWG to PDF. Okay. Paper size you can select. ISO full bleed. I uh, go for full bleed. Full bleed means the complete paper. ISO A4. This is our landscape. Uh, this is a portrait view. And A4. This is your landscape view. Go for A4 portrait. Select the portrait option. What to plot? Go for windows. Start from this point to this point. Then center the plot. Everything is okay. You can check the preview. Okay, this will. Uh, this is how the PDF will look like. If you are satisfied, then plot. If you are not, then go exit, and do the modifications. If you need any modifications, you can. I mean, if you want to write something here, of course you can. Okay, so here you go for text. Insert the text. Yes. Okay. Can I change the font? Yes. Here you can change the font. You can change the size. You can make it bold, underline, everything. Close the editor. Okay. To make this okay, okay. So go for plot again. Continue plot in a single sheet. I'll go for a four size full bleed. Click here uh, DWG to PDF. This one. For full bleed, you can go for a window from this portion to this portion. Center the plot, see the preview. Okay, happy. Right click, plot. Choose the location. You see documents, save it. So here's the PDF. It's not like you cannot make the PDF from SOLIDWORKS. Of course, you can. But this is from AutoCAD. You can print it out, do whatever you want. OK. So I'll tell you one more thing, that if you have the PDF, some online uh, websites are there, which will convert the PDF into DWG. Let me check. Convert, just type it on Google. Convert PDF 
to EWG. So there are websites, okay, where you can, let's say you have a complicated PDF. So you can upload the PDF documents. This one, convert this to DWG, it will convert it. Okay, let's say somebody has given you a PDF, you need to do some modification in that PDF. You can see this thing I have converted from a PDF. This is an additional thing that I told you you can it will be beneficial for you. Okay. From here also you can uh, save this thing in PDF. Save as yes. It will also have the option of this is portable document format. So let's say I want to print this. Okay, I need to uh, make this thing inside of a box because in the window selection, I will print this much. Okay, go for plot, continue plot in a single sheet. You can use the previous settings. Okay, from the name previous plot, all the settings from the previous will get selected. But window from here to here. Done everything okay. Uh, I can go for a landscape view. Check the preview. So this is how it will look like. Go back. Landscape preview. Okay. Dimensions are not been shown. Why? Because of the color. Okay. WG, Microsoft. Uh, one more options. Microsoft print of PDF. A4 landscape. Okay, if I plot this one, see. Okay. okay, here the problem is that uh, these things are in different layers, so I need to set them in one layer, I mean not these lines, this white color text, it is in default layer, I need to check, see this layer 1, layer 2, when he has created this thing, uh, he has created several layers. So we need to convert these things in a single layer. You see, there's no as not a single layer here. To convert this into one layer. Okay, now this time let me see. Previous window from here to here. Okay, it will not come. Yeah, it is because of this layer, but it will get print. Okay, then uh, is it possible for a uh, 3D model to open in Auto AutoCAD? Okay, so let's say this 3D model, can I open this 3D model in AutoCAD? Yes, but you have to save this model in Parasolid. Okay, this is a common extension. You can go for Parasolid, Documents, Part 2, okay, save it. Now go back to AutoCAD, open. 
documents open this where is the model Save as part two go for two and here's the parasolid. Yeah. Documents. This is the model. Right click open with the desk. Can import open documents No, not in parasolid. No, parasolid cannot be opened in AutoCAD. See this step STP, this formats are universal. Parasolid is universal. IGES format is also universal. You can save it in DWG, DFX also you can save. DFX documents. SPC documents. Oh, no, it's not showing. Okay, I will check why it is not opening. It should be opened. Okay, any uh, queries, any questions from your side? So this is all the software. I mean, I'm not saying this is all, just the basic part. As a student, what you have to learn in AutoCAD. So if you ask me that, then this is all. But apart from that, I, as a professional, you need to uh, learn a lot more. But as a student, uh, this is all. You need to know how to use the software, what is the interface, what are the tools, okay, which will reduce your work. Okay, and after the drafting, how we can plot it. No doubt, sir. No doubt. Okay. Yes, yeah, Shivam, do you have any queries? Shivam, Shivam Kumar? Okay, I guess there is no doubt. 
ఓకే okay so uh, it's not like uh, autocad we cannot perform uh, the simulations there are some plugins okay if you go for plugins autocad does provide this plugins add in so app manager is there so you can add some plugins in autocad after that you can uh, you know unlock some tools okay feature app what is this nc2020 r2 is doing here if you have the software if you have the software installed in your computer it will detect by itself if you made the 3d model you can simply go for i don't have the license installed in this computer but if you have the if you made the 3d model if i click on this nc2020 r2 it will take me with that geometry to nc directly it's not like nc is tied up with uh, autocad and featured so uh, students are you satisfied what we have uh, planned for you i mean it's a very short duration so that i couldn't able to prepare it much okay but though i was trying to show you the capabilities of the software as far as possible i mean so i need a feedback from your side how you like the sessions so session was good sir satisfied okay so any queries related to this if you need to know if you want to know okay any doubts okay regarding any cad software you can contact us okay and apart from that if you want to you know take courses for the better knowing of the softwares you can come here you can take the courses of uh, ce also i think uh, uh, some of you have already done solidworks and uh, autocad so if you have passed the 6th semester or 5th semester it's a good time for you to know the ce so next time we are thinking for ansys sir yes if you if you pass if you have passed out 6th uh, or 5th semester then you can learn ansys because until uh, till then uh, a lot of engineering subjects have been covered okay so that's a good time because you have already gone through the theories it's a good time to know the ansys yes sir so uh bikash i think you have sent me the list right of attendance uh yes sir uh, so today's one i'll send again in evening sir okay uh, if it is possible for you please uh, make it in notepad or word oh, okay sir i'll make it sir okay in notepad or word you just type the names you can yes, send sir. it to me okay, okay sir sure sir uh so what it sir uh, i'm uh, done with the demonstration of the software and if you need any parts if you uh, if you tell me that this part uh, you want to include it in this then i can go for it um, yeah thank you <clears throat> thank you mrinal uh, so if there is any sort of queries from the participants uh, they can ask right now yes. yes yes please i think some of our students have as you mentioned that they have already uh, done some sort mm. of training 
yes on yes AutoCAD and solid works at yes, yes, yes. yeah so it was uh, i guess students have been able to get an uh, idea about the package the software the autocad and yes this is mainly based on practice so if you keep on practicing regularly with different kinds of shapes geometries products then obviously you'll be able to do much better yes it's all about practice because practice, uh, the right. more you more you get in touch with the software more you need uh, can learn from the software okay until now uh, since we are doing it for uh, let's say four and four and a half years but still we are learning uh, how much you do some projects just do it and you will know something new from the software by yourself yes yes right so in order to get uh, we can also do the assembly part right yes we can uh, do the assembly parts but there's no uh, separate environment for assembly in the modeling in the 3d modeling environment only you can uh, create the parts and align those parts for the metal okay okay and they have not provided us uh, provide different environment for uh, assembly right right Okay. So uh, I think the simulation part uh, is included in your uh, SolidWorks uh, curriculum, I guess. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so my colleague will show you how this simulation works in, in SolidWorks. SolidWorks simulation is uh, quite same as that of Ansys, uh, but the control in the meshing is little less. So we generally prefer. Ansys for this application. Ansys, right, right. Okay. And, uh, one more part I want to show you. Uh, give me a minute. So it's in topology analysis. Uh, I just want to show you in SolidWorks. Uh, the thing is that uh, this is a simple box, okay, rectangular box. These two ends, uh, it's calculating by the way. Uh, these two ends are fixed. Okay, these two ends are fixed, and some loading is from the top. So the criteria, the goal of goal of uh, goal and constraints are we need to reduce the mass by ten percent. Okay. The software will now calculating that what could be the possible way, what are the possible regions which are not contributing to the strength of the material, and it is try it is trying to eliminate those sections. So it will uh, take some time to solve it. But this is topology study. It's a very uh, popular study. Ansys does also have topology uh, environment optimization. The workbench called topology optimization. And here also we can uh, see this. So once this calculation uh, is completed, we can see the results. And if you look at closely on the supports, uh, you can see some arrows. We need to be see the arrows. Okay, so it is showing you this is a fixed support. 
all the three possible ways of translation movement is totally fixed it cannot be moved in up and down this arrow we cannot and this side also we cannot see this so this is how it has formed i mean the topology of optimization finds out that this portion is not contributing to my stress to the strength of the material so since i have given the criteria of reducing only 10% of the weight the current mass of the uh, object is 8.72 kg and the final mass should be 7.85 kg only 10% reduction okay that is why it has deducted all the uh, portions which is in, uh, affecting the which is not contributing to the strength okay why this is important this is the most important thing nowadays why because as you can see those electric cars those fast moving vehicles what is the main criteria there the weight right we are building heavy engines lots of turbochargers lots of injectors all the metals are there so they are contributing to the weight of the vehicle okay which is reducing its uh movement right so this is very important the topology optimization is very important uh, it will reduce the portions i just right click and show see if i increase the percentage of mass reduction it will take a longer time that is why i have given 10% let's say i want to reduce the mass to 30% initially it was 8 0.7 kg around now the final mass should be 6 to 6.1 kg if i hit okay and run this study it will take some more times but it will show you reducing 30% of the weight without affecting the strength see the loads are there the supports are there it is not uh, affecting the strength of this component in solid works you can uh, done inspections in ktr also ktr is a very capable software you can done this finite element analysis in ktr cam also Uh, sir, uh, are you are you uh, from the faculty point of view? Are you suggesting those students uh, to done their projects in FEA? Yeah, evidence uh, computer related uh, projects. If they want to pursue, uh, then obviously we are looking forward for this kind of designing plans. Yes, because this is a very. Uh, trending thing in fea because uh, yeah. the time that we have passed out we uh, used to go for the workshop and we used the hammers welder welding machines and all but now it is everyone is intended for this fea yeah and because of this pandemic also yes yes to work in the laboratories and and workshop yes 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 they just need a computer and the total project can be done right, right. yeah okay uh, i'm asking the students uh, have you seen this kind of structure see it has reduced 30% of its weight have you seen uh, this kind of structure anywhere yes where in bridges i use yes exactly bridges yes. so if you look look at uh, from a bottom view of the bridge okay you'd be able to see this kind of uh, structure okay so uh, i think many of the mo those movies of uh, out from india from foreign countries they have built bridges like this okay the middle portion is totally unaffected to the uh, the strength so it is reducing the 
material from it okay for this kind of these are the these are the kind of loading that bridges have right these two ends are fixed it's a totally distributing load on the top of the face this is the weight right my intention uh, was to show you how we have decided that this kind of shape is a uh, perfect suitable for the bridge okay how they have uh, identified that this shape is okay i mean it won't affect if i remove this portion but if this uh, material it won't affect the strength okay from the topology study okay uh if you allow me some more time i will show you one more example okay sir let's see this Okay. Now this time I'll go for a topology study. Okay. Fix geometries. This side and this side. Okay. Loading. Loading some forces here. Let's, let's say. Oh, 1000 newton. Okay. Goal is to reduce the weight by 30%. Okay. To apply the material. So we'll go with alloy steel. Apply. Run the study. Solid mesh in progress. Okay. So now tell me, uh, after this calculation is done, now tell me uh, where have you seen this kind of geometry? In, in uh, SOLIDBRICS, you can also done some flow simulations. Flow simulations like uh, if you have passed some fluid from one side, what will be the discharge on if you have four openings out there? What will be the discharge? Okay, what is the turbulence? What is the, you know, uh, is the boundary layers are got separated? Okay, uh, the flow in input controls, you can specify whether it is a laminar flow, whether it is a uh, turbulent flow. You can adjust the viscosity uh parameters in solid drugs also you can do this Yes, mathematical uh, equations, uh, see, mathematical equations, these are the numeric control. Okay, you have to understand this thing. We, If you have created something, you have three ways of testing it. First, break the thing. Okay, I mean, experimental method. Experimental method, you make the model. You perform the same thing. See if it is working or not. Second way, analytic way. You have all the equations, you have gone through all the theories, the textbooks, open it up, do it. Now this software is, works on numeric method. Okay, you have seen the matrix, matrix, you have done it from class 10, I guess. So those matrix are here. Okay, this numeric method uh, has been uh, worked on numeric basis. I mean, this NCS, uh, any other softwares. Finite element analysis is works on 
numeric approach. So yes, there's some way by which you can insert the mathematical expressions, but uh, that will be a very advanced level of simulation. Okay, external forces means uh, I'm not getting it uh, very clearly. Pavan, uh, what do you mean by external forces? Like in a component, the external forces, right? That is imparted on that component. Fluid equation C, you don't have to go for the uh, equations for fluid. All you can do, yes, in ANSYS, there's an environment where you can code it. That is called UDF, that is user defined functions. To do the UDFs, to make the UDFs, you need to know the C coding. Okay, C plus plus C. So C coding you need to know. If you know C, then you can uh, code for your uh, mathematical expressions. Yes, that is possible. But the properties are there, but the options are there. You just need to click on that options. If all the options are get matched, you get a satisfied result. But your the question to your answer is yes, it is possible to apply mathematical equations there. But to de for that, you need to know C coding. Oh, it is. Okay, I need to use, uh, I need to reduce some of the more uh, masses. Okay, so generally, uh, have you, uh, can you identify uh, what it is looking like? The trusses I told you about. You see, this portion is joined. So it's a truss. It is trying to making a truss. Okay, if I am setting this goal, if I can set this goal to 70%, I want to reduce the weight to 70%, then it will create me the trust. Okay. So that is how it works. Okay. Here also you can simulate the fluids, but there's no much options in SolidWorks. Okay. There's very less options available in SolidWorks fluid uh, compared to ANSYS fluid. ANSYS, it has two solver for fluid. One is your Fluent, second one is your CFX. Okay. And one more thing is that there is polyflow, poly flow, which is a very high viscous flow. I mean, like uh, oils. Okay, high viscous oils, those simulations can be done in polyflow and ANSYS. Any more questions? Anything else you want to know? 
I'm just waiting for this uh, solver to complete the calculation. And uh, the time of calculation, it directly depends upon the uh, upon your system. Okay, so um, the, your processor, your RAM, it depends upon that. You can set up the cores. I mean, if you are using a quad core processor, you can set up the cores. How many cores you want to dedicate to this? solving process you see isn't it a trust yes yes so this is the topology optimization this is a very uh, very popular field of interest nowadays okay everyone is looking to have product with same strength but less weight okay how we can remove uh, materials from it so this is a topology optimization this is how we get the trusses okay but here you cannot do anything but you can save the model by the way uh, but not this model but in ansys I, when you have this kind of uh, shape you can save this model okay and like you see it is just removing it now it's it's not the well finished uh, things so you can take it to the space clean and you can rearrange it you can make it look better smoothing smoothening this uh, edges see this yellow section must keep okay to remove okay blue portions are okay to remove if i reduce it further more we will try to remove this blue portions by some more amount say it is not removing from this how accurate the solver is can I have an idea say it is not removing material from this because this is the support it cannot remove material from here but it is removing materials from here but the point where it is joining you see this truss this uh, link is joined to the, here it is not removing material from here okay if you can look it closely it's a very interesting study see the joinings at the joining it is not removing material from the downwards downside here it is not removing material this way okay because strength is important here so these materials are contributing to the strength of this component okay the wireframe is showing me uh, what was the initial model this wireframe is showing me what was the initial model now what is what it has done okay so i hope i uh, would able to give you some interest to this uh, field of uh, cad cam and ca yes sir okay so uh, when it comes to ansys when it comes to solidworks when it comes to ktr there's a lot more thing to show you okay but in autocad what i uh, feel like it's a drafting software no doubt it's a very useful very important software no doubt but 
people uh, use the software for drafting purposes only. But there in the market, uh, far better softwares are there for 3D modeling for any other works. But for drafting, it is still number one. So uh, with that saying, I'm concluding this session. Okay, if you have any queries, any uh, thing related to CA and uh, CAD or CAM, you can contact me. Uh, I can give you my personal number. You can call me. Uh, I will try my best to help you out. Yes, sir. Okay. And what I'm suggesting uh, while saying that uh, it's very good for you to have projects on CA and uh, CAD, CAD is that if you want my help on that project, I'm available. I just, uh, just let me know if you need any help regarding NCS or anything, I can help you. I'm just leaving my personal number in the chat box. So if someone wants, you can note it down. Okay. So did you like the session? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, yes, was it was it a uh, little bit beneficial for you? It'll be, I'll be very happy if it get if you get benefit out of the session. Yeah, yes, sir. It was. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, sir. Uh, Shubhajit, sir. Uh, sir, uh, Shubhajit, sir, got disconnected, sir. Due to okay, network okay. issue. Okay, so, no problem. Uh, we, then we can end the session here. Yes, yes, we can end the session yeah. here. But the small request for uh, to you is that yes, uh, I need a uh, feedback from your side. Okay, right? sir. feedback from so, your side. So, uh, um, not feedback like not in lot of words, just yes, how sir. you like the session. If I can get okay, a sir. feedback from uh, all of the participants, it will be I'll be yes, sir, yes, happy yes, with sir. that. So okay. then I'll collect all the feedbacks. Uh, yes, yes, please. Uh, like uh, it could be a message or it could be anything. You just copy the message and uh, put it yes, in sir. a uh, yes, sir. notepad yes, and you can send yes, it to me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So it means uh, sir, uh, without any name. name. Okay, sir. Uh, it's okay. If you if you got the names, see, the feedbacks might be good, might be bad. I'm not uh, yes, uh, minding on that. Yes, All I need is just if you have some suggestions, if you have some uh, important advice for me to uh, improve the session, then I'd be happy to know. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, sir. Sir, okay. sir Google sir, form then, would be just support. Ha, Google form would be better, right? So yes, sir. I'll I'll, I'll talk to Subhaji, sir, and then uh, we'll send all those uh, all the links to all the students. Yes. Okay. So I will make yes, a sir. Google form and send it to you. Uh, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. You can uh, send me then. Uh, okay, I will send yes. to you and you distribute that form among your friends. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Sure. Sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye, Tata. Bye-bye. Bye, sir. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Okay. Bye, sir. Okay. If you need any help regarding this, you can contact me. Okay, okay sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Because we are my attendance.